YouTube is 411 Grassy. I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I'm getting into that right now. I got three new pairs of shoes and two new bottles of cologne. One Playboy and the new sent by Dolce & Gabbana, the one. We're going to start out with the Playboy and then head on into the others. I went to Na oh I went to Nashville recently, picked up a bunch of stuff as I just said. Okay. I bet y'all wanna see the box first probably. I got a blue blue and black box. Alright, here's blue. And the rest is black. That's the whole rest of the box except for the okay. got a blue Malibu, because it's Playboy Malibu. You got your white Playboy here with a little bunny stamped on right there. As you can see, he's even got his little bow tie and eyes on. Dot and eye. Okay. And then you got your blue or a black bunny with white and blue trim or outlining. It's a neon blue, which I think is amazing. Pretty nice. Um, and the bunny continues. The last bit of the bunny continues on the left side. The black on the top it says Playboy with another little bunny stamped on. And just how it's made and what it is. And it says www.playboyfragrances.com. Sorry about that. That was my Playboy. The box of the Playboy. Now we're going on to the bottle. You got your Playboy bunny sign over here in blue and white. And you got like the ocean. And then you got the Malibu penthouses going around the bottle. Stops here. It says Malibu, and then Playboy underneath it in blue and white. And then you got, that's it, except for the detailing on the top of the top. Black top is, it's the bunny stamped into the top. The blue liquid uh, cologne with a uh, clear bottle. That's all i got to say about that. Now we're going to get into the... Sit that right there, and we're gonna get into the Dolce & Gabbana. It's an entirely brown box with silver writing on it. it says Dolce & Gabbana. Underneath it says the one for men. Yeah, it's like a metallic bronze brown box. Everything. On it. There you go. Okay. The cologne itself is wrapped in this. Kind of like a button of the box and fold it up top here, 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 and that's like it's got a, kind of a design on it. You can't see it, but it's got like lines up going across it, like little indention lines and stuff. It's pretty super sweet. Okay, now you're gonna get in the club. It says Dolce and Gabbana, and at the thing it says the one clear bottle brown cologne with a cat with a silver head on it, mister. The cat is this like, kind of looks like a wood, it's a metal cap. It's like a bronze metal cap. Fits on there perfectly, as you can see. That's all the detail in this bottle. You know, Dutch Angle Bottle makes it short and simple and beautiful. And at the end, I've got something special to show you. But until then, we're going to head on to the other stuff. I'm going to sit that right there. Okay, first pair of Converse. we got a pair of Chuck Taylors. As you can see. Chuck Taylor. All-Stars. With a, It's an all-black box with like a cardboard-colored brown writing. Two pinstripes on the side. You got your two little air holes like Converse, would have, like Converse shoes would have. And it says Converse here. I got the uh, charcoal, the charcoal highs. They're gonna look like charcoal, so I'm 
son. This is the shoe. As you can see, you got one stripe going across it, all the way across the shoe, but it's got the all-star symbol on the back of it, on the heel. Then you got your normal diamond pattern, with, and then it follows up into lines here, and here, and it goes into the diamond here again, and like a little strip line. And that's pretty much the shoe, except for the up, the whole entire upper is this gray cloth, like denim. Then you got your all-star symbol here, in white and blue and red. You got some, like silver, metal eyelets, white laces, white to white toe cap with a stri black stripe running around it, and a white um, toe cap, another part section of white toe cap. And that's pretty much all i got to say about this shoe. At the end of the video, I will be doing an iron feet with all shoes, so just be looking forward to that. Let me get these out of the way. Drop the Jordan down here. Move that. I'm going to start upgrading my studio. Thing. Right now we're in my room, but I'm going to start upgrading to a better look at the studio. Can I be back in? Okay. It's got kind of a design in it. I don't know if you can see it. You can't. Because it's really light design. But these are the Flyway 2s. The red and... Sorry. The gym red and white and black colorway. They're real sick shoe. Before I show you the shoe, I'm gonna go into the box. Normal Jordan box. You got your flat black box with a glossy black jump man here. Yeah, you can't see the jump man because it's covered up on this side. Then you got a white jump man, or like a silverish grayish white jump man on the top here. And it's glossy. As you know, the Jordan 1 on the Jumpman right there. And Jordan himself going for the last slam dunk. So, yeah. For next year. Mmm. Pretty sweet, right? These things are dope. But, uh, yeah. I'm getting into shit. These are the Flyways. Black and red M3 upper. Got a mesh, got an M3 tongue on the top with a mesh tongue right there. So you can see the mesh right there. Black rope laces, white live wire set right here. As you can see, as I run my finger across, it makes a noise. Pretty sweet. You got your black up here around the laces where the eyelets are. You got a little black tab here where you, when if you ever relace these to a different color, you would put the first strand through here. You got your flyweight symbol. Um, white Jumpman surrounded by red M3. This is more of a um, plastic kind of like rubber feel Jumpman. Then you got this red cloth tab, you know, to pull the shoe on, black and red inside, the black jump man on him, you got your extra ankle support, red ankle support right in there, it's real soft and cushiony, as you can see you got these little perforated design on the toe cap here, with a glossy M3 material right there, and then you got your matte M3 material here, um, the bottom, or the midsole right here is red with a hard plastic plate here if you can hear it then you go back into this yeah you got the white bottom here with where you got your concrete 
All this right in here is your concrete look to it. It's real nice. And you got a black jump man here. As you can see, you know, because when you lift up your foot, it's going to pop up like that. You'll be able to see the logo. On a black, on a red plastic plate here. Um. Oh, yes. Okay. On the midsole here, I think you can see, yeah, you can. All this right in here is like a diamond print. It's real nice, real good looking on the shoe. Along with the design on the plastic plate, it's got these nice little subtle line touches to it that are glossy and then are matte. I think that design, that's real nice. Okay. black and orange and white sorry it's the twofold highs black and cherry additional white laces which is really they're really an orange color but um let's get into it I'm gonna fold this down so you can see what it will look like white laces originally put orange converse laces on that came with them let me fold this down okay. as you can see the inner fabricing of the shoe is orange with steel or metal eyelets silver eyelets you got this like charcoal black grayish color going on on the tongue on the fold where you're going to fold it then you drop down into a black cloth on the outer part of the shoe. It's real nice orange laces, the actual Converse laces as I bought there, white toe cap, and black piping all the way around to the all star symbol. Yeah, pretty sweet. Orange in tongue, black out tongue, and the inner lining of the outside tongue is the um, same blackish grayish charcoal color with the cream all in lining yeah so pretty sweet this video is kind of long I know but I've got a lot of stuff to show you it's been a while okay now what I'm about to show you is pretty amazing I got it done here where I live before I went to Nashville so yeah it's my iPhone orange now was black I just need to put the screws back in it and it will be complete I did